Hey everyone, this is Greg with Science Studio. We have the Radon R7370 4GB edition, might I add. And uh, we are going to run some testing benchmarks with this CPU. If you watched our last benchmarking video, you'll know that we did that one with the R9380. Well, this R7370 is kind of like the younger brother of the R9380, only in this case, the younger brother's been working out a bit more, because this one has 4GB of VRAM. Where is that 4 gigabyte label? Oh, it's somewhere. There it is. 4 gigabytes, and this 4 gigs will allow us to basically render more gaming data in the background before it's actually processed. Um, so this would allow you to uh, increase distance scaling in games. Uh, in particular, we're going to show you how we can do that with Grand Theft Auto 5, but basically it's going to allow your card to load more data in the background so that when it needs that data it can quickly access it and not have to render it while it's trying to process it. So it, uh, it basically saves your graphics card some time and it also makes your games run a bit smoother, especially if you're playing a demanding game that requires a lot of VRAM. So we're going to get right into the specs and the performance of the card right now. So even at this early point in the benchmarking test, it's pretty obvious that the R7370 isn't packing as much of a graphics performance punch as the R9380. However, this could be in part due to the fact that distance scaling is literally maxed out, which uses about 500 megabytes of additional VRAM, which the R9380 did not have, mind you. And we've also turned on the high definition while flying option, which was also in the advanced graphics tab. We're not sure how much of a performance hit that gives our R7370, but let's not get this confused. The purpose of buying the R7370 4GB model over the R9380 2GB model that was showcased in our last video is to take advantage of the additional RAM. Unfortunately, that also means requiring the GPU to perform more intensive tasks. Simply put, the R7370 can't handle these intensive tasks to the extent that the R9380 could. So if we had an R9380 4GB model, which would cost around $210 as of the recording date of this video, we would be able to take advantage of the additional 2GB of VRAM without taking a severe FPS hit. So what does this mean? Well, basically the R7370 doesn't need 4 gigabytes of VRAM. The card simply isn't able to handle large loads of data. Now what would be the ideal situation? 4 gigs of VRAM in an R9380. Maybe that's one to consider. You'll be paying an additional 20 to 30 dollars, but then you can truly enjoy a 4 gigabyte RAM experience. So to sum things up, if you are okay with a 30 to 40 FPS rate on an R7370 and want to take advantage of the additional VRAM by running some high quality graphics settings, to an extent the R7370 can handle it, at least in GTA 5's case. Now all games will vary, not every game will play the same, and not every card will perform the same way either, even if it's from the exact same manufacturer. So one more thing we'll do before we conclude this video is compare head-to-head -head with these graphs the R9380 to the R737. Keep in mind, once again, the R9380 only has 2GB of VRAM and the R737 has 
four gigabytes of VRAM. The particular variant of the R7 370 that we used was the ASUS Strix edition, and we've certainly heard great things about Strix in the past, especially when it comes to cooling. But we did notice that the R7 370 ran much hotter, about 10 degrees hotter on average under a full load, than our R9 380 did. And the variant of the R9 380 we used was XFX. Not as well known, but surprisingly efficient at keeping our GPU cool. A cool feature of the ASUS Strix card, however, <laughs> get it? Cool? Oh, okay. Anyway. A cool feature is that the fans don't turn on until the temps get fairly high. Around 60 degrees Celsius we found the fans actually turned on, which means that this card runs practically silent unless it's under a near full load. Our XFX R9380 had its fans run all the time. Even at boot up, the card's fans turned on. So if sound is an issue, then the ASUS Strix variant of either the R9380 or the R7370 might be one for you to consider. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like or dislike in the video. Let us know what we can do to improve our future videos. And be sure to subscribe so that you can see more, because there will be more to come. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.